Yeah, that's what I'm going to be. Things you gotta, yeah, I'm yeah. going to say, okay, so you enter a gun shop. Should I just start? All right, welcome back, guys. Today we have a pretty interesting topic. It is going to be advice for new buyers of firearms. Me and Bodie over here have spent a lot of time on the gun floor and have dealt with quite a few customers in the past. And uh, today we're just gonna talk about a few tips and give you guys some advice on buying your first handgun or rifle or whatever it might right. be. So you walk into a gun shop. You've never bought a handgun before or any other firearm for that matter. It might be a little intimidating. You make your way over to the counter. There's a few things that you probably should know before you start picking up guns and things like that etiquette, uh, uh, some safety rules, things like that. You're never going to point that fi firearm at anyone um, or anything that you're not willing to kill or destroy. So when you, the salesman does hand you that firearm, you're not going to point it at anyone or anything. You should keep it muzzle in a safe direction. You should um, check if it's unloaded. Hopefully your salesman does too. Be willing to ask questions that you might be embarrassed about. Ben, do you have anything to add about the etiquette portion of the... Absolutely. Redundant safety checks are fine and good. Don't hesitate to open up a gun, check it out, take the magazine out, whatever. Make sure this is clear. No matter if you saw me just close this, you saw that there was nothing in there. If I have a gun here and I see that it's clear, but I hand it to Ben, He's not just going to wave it around, he's going to also check it. Don't ever trust someone else to make sure that it's safe uh, and not in firing condition. Make sure that you're not pointing that muzzle towards anybody and don't just be cognizant of the salesperson uh, or you know the person behind you. I see people do it all the time. So let's say I'm standing here taking a look. Oh, this is this is cool. This is neat. Um, so so tell me about this as I pointed at my friend's face over here because you know or the guy who's kind of off to the left behind me because I'm not paying attention. I don't know how many people I've seen you know point a gun at their wife or at other people things like that. You know we'll just often politely say hey, if you could just keep the muzzle up here at this direction at one of these signs so on and so forth. Just make sure you're not waving this around at other people. If you're standing behind somebody who's at the counter and you see a gun pointing back at you, you don't know if it's clear. Probably is, but do you trust that? You have no idea who that person is, where that gun came from, so on and so forth. So just be careful with it. Treat it as if it were loaded. Also, as far as information goes, it's okay to be ignorant. You don't have to be an expert and don't try to be one if you're not. Know what you know, know what you don't know. It's okay to ask questions. Uh, it's okay to uh, not have all the information and not know exactly what you're looking for. That's why people like us are here to help you make the right choice. Sometimes you might get some information from your buddy, but consider the source. Just because someone is this, that, they've served in the military, they might have been a police officer or currently, that doesn't mean they're a weapons expert and that doesn't mean they're familiar with everything. A lot of guys who are in the service know the platforms that they use very, very well. They can use them. Um, but that doesn't mean they have a broad knowledge base necessarily that we have working in this industry. Uh, so I'm not going to recommend one particular firearm to anybody um, for any reason. I'm going to ask you questions to identify what you're going to use it for, what your personal preferences are, where you're going to carry it, how much you're going to use it, so on and so forth. I want to pick something, help you pick something. Um, my intention is to help you choose something that's going to work for you, that's going to fit your budget, that's going to fit your hand, uh, and that you're going to be able to do well with. Which it leads me into my next point. It's important that you're honest with the salesman on what you're going to be using that firearm for. Uh, a lot of times we'll get customers in and they're, they're intimidated or scared. They don't want to admit that, oh, they feel the need to carry a gun on them all the time. And then they'll say, oh, I'm just going to keep it at home in a lockbox. If that's what you're basing your decision on, sometimes you can select a wrong gun if you're going to be carrying it. Um, you need to be honest. You need to be uh, upfront. Uh, it's okay if you if you sound a little stupid or you not know what you're talking about. That's what we're here for. Um, so ask questions. You know you'll get answers definitely. And uh, just be honest on what you might need that firearm for. That will help the salesman pick one out for you. The more you use firearms, the more you're going to learn what works for you and what doesn't. So if you haven't had a lot of shooting experience or you're looking at a new gun and you haven't held one, you haven't tried one, holding it, making sure it seems to fit, you like the safety features, you like the price, those are important things. But the really big thing is actually firing that gun. Great thing is we have a range here and we have all sorts of guns to rent. 
Uh, so you have a wide variety of handguns to choose from. And even if we don't have the exact gun in the range available for rental at the moment, there are uh, plenty of choices that are probably gonna be comparable to what it is that you're looking at. So try it before you buy it. Absolutely, try it before you buy it. And then kind of leading up to the last point, don't feel obligated to buy it, any firearm. Uh, it should be a right fit, you should feel comfortable, you should try it, you should ask questions. Um, but if you're not totally comfortable with the idea, I wouldn't recommend owning a firearm or buying your first one until you're ready. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really important that it's your decision and that you're making a decision based on the information you have and not anyone else. So in addition to keeping the muzzle in a safe direction, making sure you're not handling a uh, loaded firearm, treating it as if it is loaded even though it isn't, keep your finger off the trigger. No reason to have my finger in here unless I'm on target aiming at something that I want to shoot. So again, when you're racking the slide, when you're moving the magazine, no matter what you're doing, keep your finger straight, not inside the trigger guard. You should only have your finger touching the trigger or inside the trigger guard if you're actually getting ready to shoot something that you're already aimed at. Um, so once you have selected the firearm that, uh, that works for you, uh, you're going to need to fill out the paperwork to take possession of the firearm. That's a 4473, and in Pennsylvania we have a state form, a record of sale as well. You need to have your valid photo ID. Uh, it could be a ID, it could be a driver's license, or if you don't have one of those with your current address on it, you could also use your valid carry license. Also, in the state of Pennsylvania, after you pass your background check, you can take the fire home with you, firearm home with you that day. It is not a, a waiting period or anything like that. Um, you go through the background check. It's simply done online. After you are cleared, you can purchase your firearm, firearm and take it home with you. It is not the same as a concealed carry permit. And if you want to go into that a little bit. <clears throat> you do not need a license to carry firearms in Pennsylvania to purchase a firearm. To carry it concealed, you do need one. Go to your county courthouse. Uh, it's not expensive. You fill out a brief um, application and some counties will give it to you right away if you sit and wait for about 20 minutes or so. Others will send you a postcard or give you a call in a week or two. So that depends on the county you live in. But Pennsylvania is a shall issue state. So that means you don't have to do anything special to be able to have that carry license. The license to carry firearms in Pennsylvania is going to be granted to you. Uh, pending your background check as long as there's no reason that you would be prohibited from uh, from having that. But you don't need that to buy your gun just to transport it. Important that if you don't have a license to carry firearm and you're buying a handgun and ammunition at the same time, keep one separated from the other so that one is not accessible to the other. Don't load up your magazines or your firearm if you don't already have a license to carry. Alright, for all you first time buyers out there, I hope this gave you guys a little bit of insight in on how to do it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to check us out on our website, tropgun.com. Go to our Instagram, our Facebook. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care. We'll see you next time.